My name is Derek Onyango. I'm 18 years old and I play for True Talents of Africa Academy. The first time I was told the news by Coach Kim was after training. It was a Wednesday I was in school. So after I finished training, he told me uh, he wanted to talk to me separately. And that's when he told me that I've been sent to SRUSA. I think the news, it was quite, uh, I was very elated to, to say the least. And uh, Derek himself was very, very elated. He couldn't wait to come and break the news to me. Um, the fact that he was going to pursue um, something he's passionate about, uh, soccer, and also couple that up with uh, education, uh, university education, that really, really was something very exciting for me. At that time, I was, I couldn't, a lot of words I couldn't even speak because I didn't know, I, at that point, I started to question whether I was gonna be able to continue with football after school because I was in my fourth year and other people were getting scholarships and I didn't know if I was going to get one, but eventually I got one. As a player, Onyango is very dedicated. Um, he's very headstrong and uh, he always goes for what he wants. Uh, he has a never said die attitude, which is always something good to see in a player. And I also love the way he combines his physicality with a kind of a gentleness that many people don't see, but uh, a lot of coaches appreciate. I started playing football in around class three. Uh, it was during PE when we had to go outside and play. At that time, I wasn't really serious with football. But around class four, I started taking it seriously. I started watching matches with my, with my dad, started supporting Manu. Early primary, he joined the, the, the school team. And within the school team, he showed a lot of passion, a lot of dedication, never missing training, always talking about football, always asking questions around uh, soccer. So we realized he has a passion for this, and we said we're going to support him. I joined TTA. Uh, around Form 2. Initially I was in green sports with Coach Kim and Coach Brian, but then when they left inside the academy I decided to follow them. Uh, I can say it's been a very great experience because I've been able to develop my ability in football and that was what has led me to get my scholarship. I think one thing that stood out for me uh, with Onyango is just his commitment. Uh, he was the kind of player who Every time he played, he seemed like he was, he was really committed to the level of discipline, uh, not just on the football side, but in terms of his, his character and his academics. He really focused on, on what he wanted to do, and I think he knew very much so where he wanted to go. And he just had, he had the, the habits necessary for him to get there. Um, so that, I think even the fact that he is where he is now was just a testament to the fact that we felt as a coaching staff that he was, he had everything. Even if he went and never played a game, we felt that the coaches would still respect him and that speaks volumes for him. I realized Onyango was special one time we were playing against the under 23s. We went a goal down. I think the whole, the whole team just went down. But he just looked at everyone and said, guys, we're winning this against a stronger opponent, tougher opponent, maybe technically better opponent. But he just looked at himself, looked at his teammates, looked at me, told me, coach, don't worry, we're winning this. Funny enough, he went on to assist the winning goal and we won the game. And for me, from that moment on, I knew this kid was going to have something special about him. Football has been something I've always wanted to do ever since I was a kid. After watching my first game, which was my United game, after I saw Ronaldo, Rooney, Nani, I was like, this is what I wanted to do. The initial bits, of course, uh, as a parent, you tend to get a bit uh, anxious. There is a bit of, you know, anxiety, uh, so to say. 
But again, looking at the bigger picture, um, you then realize that uh, this is his life and uh, he's just turned 18 and he's got a life to, to build for himself out there. And uh, we must not limit or restrict him to, to any environment or he must pursue his dreams wherever he wants to in this world. And he can do that comfortably. All he needs from us is our support. First of all, it's gonna be a new challenge in my life because it's a new place, yeah, you're far away from your family. So I'll have to adapt first. And I'd also like to get opportunity to play in the MLS so that I can be able to showcase my talents and I can go to one of the great teams. I am aware that playing college soccer does not mean that I'll eventually get to play professionally. But despite that, I'm going to try my best and get every opportunity I can. But even though I still don't make it, I'll be proud of myself because not many people are able to achieve this.